What's poppin' my Minecraft soldiers? How are we doing today? We're playing UHC in 2019. I didn't think this was actually possible. I kind of thought this game would die way before 2018 began and look at us now. We're still mining these blocks. I've officially been playing this game for over eight years. Oh boy, I'm living life. All right, so this video is going to be talking about how to be better at UHC. I know a lot of you are trying to, you know, get better skills. The new year's around. So your new year's resolution is to not suck ass at UHC. Well, I have a grand plan. Um, it doesn't involve vape. It doesn't involve cheating. And it doesn't uh, make you look like a fool. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be better at UHC. I know everyone's New Year's resolution is to not suck. You went through three keyboards and two mice last year. You've broken them all. You almost broke your monitor, but you knew you couldn't afford one, so you didn't break it. You have a lot on your mind. You want to be good at the game, but you have no idea how to. You want to watch a YouTuber and learn better, but nobody else knows how to get you better at the game. Well, I'm here to tell you. No matter how many videos you watch, you'll never get better but I can surely help you with some stuff. I can help you with planning. I can help you with inventory management. I can help you with just about anything else that isn't purely skill. Cause that's all you, man, that's all you. I can't help you be better at PVP. It's literally you walk up to the player and you click. This isn't, you're not gonna win a fight like this. You gotta click. Some people are just better at clicking. It's as simple as that. First things first is you need cane. If you're gonna play UHC, you're gonna need cane. Sugarcane is the sacred ingredient to all of crafting in, in, in Minecraft UHC, for high pixel at least. If you don't have cane, then you better damn well hope you find yourself a village and get some books and make an enchantment table and do it the old fashioned Reddit bad lion way. How much cane do you need, Bo? We're, we're all wondering the same question. Me too. I've played this game for forever. You always need more cane than you have. Always, 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 because you can make prot, sharp, proj, and power. And if you have them maxed, then you're going to need 48 cane. But I don't think you're going to want to get all 48. A comfortable number for most players is going to be around 18. That's going to be 6 for sharpness 2, 9 for all of your prot books, and then you can make one more proj to put uh, on your pants or something. And a lot of people don't know how to mine. Honestly, it scares me. How do you guys not know how to mine? People would be like, oh, this is a cave. Oh, no, it's not a cave. I'm not going to go down there. What do you think this is? Why is this here? It's here because there's caves down here. Anytime there's a mark that's unique in the ground, there's a cave there, okay? That isn't just there on the surface. There's stuff down here, probably starting at like Y25, I was going to say. Look, boom, we're at Y30. This is where the base of the cave is, like Y29. I bet you if we go down to Y25, it'll be even bigger. People don't understand. You never are going to find a good high pixel UHC surface cave and bring that all the way down to Y11 where there's diamonds and everything. You got to mine down where you find yourself a nice little unique area. Boom, look at this, 25 and it's the base of the cave. We'll get this spawner really quickly and then I'll explain. So once you found your dead end, and you can't go any further, find where the cave is the furthest away from everything else, like right here. This is a good time. And you're gonna wanna go mining away from the cave. There's no point in mining this way under the cave. You're already at it. Just mine this way like 40 blocks. You might find some diamonds on the way and you'll get yourself a brand new cave system that you can mine from. Look at that. There's a ravine right here. I'm not even like pre-recording talking over this. This is just actually how it happens every single time. I knew that if I'd mined about 40 blocks, I'd find a new cave. And just like that. This is a new cave, so I'm going to make my armor. If I do go into a new new cave when PvP is enabled, I want to make sure nobody's in there first. So I'll make my armor so I can fight. Worst thing you want to do is get into a brand new cave. There's somebody there, and then they get all of your ores. So I don't think we're going to uh, we're gonna get diamonds this game. And that's, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. We're going to make our sharp two, we're going to make our sharp two, and we're going to make prot, 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 prot. Another thing that I really like to do is make myself an apple, golden nuggets, and golden ingots, and put them on the right side of my inventory. I put my arrows on the left side, 
and then I do my ingredients to make more arrows there and then I have all of my important stuff just kind of chilling on the right side that way when I'm in my inventory if you quickly press E to search your inventory it's obviously always going to be on this spot then my inventory is fine like this if my stuff was right here then I'd have to like sort through here and it's just a barrier that I can't touch now my inventory has just been closed to here and I won't touch these I'll just basically like pretend like they're locked and I can't even use them at all. For anybody concerned about my hotbar, it's basically all muscle memory. Um, you shouldn't replicate mine because mine's a little bit unique and different. I adapted it to my playing style. I'll show you a quick little rundown of what my uh, hotbar is and why. So here's a quick summarization of my hotbar. It's pretty unique, but it's very easy to copy and replicate and it works well for me. Running to zero zero is basically everybody's plan. It's nothing it's nothing special. There's no unique thing to find players. The only thing we are is enchanted with a gapple. But this guy has a chest plate and he's unenchanted. So if you really think about it, we have the same armor because we have some prot and some proj. We have a sharp two. I'm gonna have to say he has an iron sword clean. Because he didn't get any cane. So I'm well aware that this guy isn't that stacked. And I will fight him. Yeah, look at that. Diamond Sword Unenchanted. And he's on 23. So I could easily fight him right now, but I'm gonna wait till I get super close to him. Boom, now I can get a double hit. And I'll just straight line him. Interesting. Now I don't sit there and loot. I, I wanna I wanna get myself out of that situation as fast as possible. Actually gonna go down here and hide for a little bit. Just because there's so many people still alive, even though it's 20. Like, I want to be able to put myself in a situation where I'm not scared. There's our head. That's golden. Perfect. Here's a gapple. And we gain healing off that fight. That's major. You always want to gain health from a fight. You never want to lose healing during a fight. Unless they're stacked or they're a good player and you need to remove them. You got to figure out all of those calculations in your head while you're fighting. I usually, since I play Minecraft all the time, look at this guy dicking on me. I play Minecraft all the time. So I could care less if I die. Just join a brand new game. What's this guy on? Mark Lesson. Or MKRL's Ego. He's on 29. So since we're not going to be in a cave, I'm going to switch my inventory up a little bit. This guy's probably full diamond. Oh, he's just really... He's got a rod. He had a golden head. He's got sharp three, that's why he's rushing. Andrew. He had an Andrew and a sharp three. That was pretty strong. This guy's low. I'll fight him. Power one. I want to quickly clean up my inventory. We have five diamonds. We have Proj Prot, two boots. I was seeing if I could just make a torn home, but I think I'm fine. We don't need that anymore. We need Flint. Let's go get Flint. We need Flint so we can make a power two. We can actually make a power three. The re this guy's fighting me. Why? I don't even know if I'm going to eat. Oh, he had a gapple. Alright, interesting. Oh, we can make another golden head. There's another player too. 
We might be able to get a jump on him. Please follow us in. Come here, dude. I'm gonna use this head to get more gear. He's looting. I don't think he knows we're here because I'm pretty sure this is the guy that cleaned up everything. I don't think he thinks we're here. Yeah, he doesn't know we're here. He cleaned up the last. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't know we're here. Like that, it's just confirmed. We're gonna wait it out and then we're gonna go get ourselves one piece of cane, get a Santa's cookie and then make two gaps and we'll be full health. Why are you gonna chase me, dude? Oh, he's not. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. We got cleaned up so badly. Like, that was terrible. In that situation, you just got to keep, just keep, just kind of getting that, getting those heads so they don't get them. Kind of doubles the value if you eat it and they don't eat it. I like going into DM with extra apples. It's always helpful in case I find somebody. You can't get apples in DM. You can. You have to wait for the leaves to decay. Well, I can't make pro. I can't make proj. So I don't think any of this is necessary anymore. I want to clean my inventory as much as possible. That stuff is cool and all. Yeah, it's nice to have, but I'd rather be able to loot sweep. My inventory was cluttered because everybody else's inventories were stacked and fat. If everybody did like what I did, it would just be the important information. And I would have had all those heads and all the gold ingots. If I'm ever really stacked, I'll actually duplicate my nuggets. So I have two stacks of nuggets just because everybody drops like 26, especially in teams. That's usually just a teams thing because they drop so many. We're on 38, technically we're on 37. We got two absorption hearts though, and we're not finding anybody in the next minute, I can tell you that. And in real time. We're gonna hide for a second. I don't know if I want to fight this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Five gaps? Are you serious? With a power three punch. What? He was stacked. Why didn't he heal? I'm so concerned. Dude, this game is kinda crazy. This guy's lagging. 
Oh, 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 no. Eight gold blocks. Are you telling me that this guy... I can make a notch? <laughs> what is happening? I'm choking. I want to put him in a situation where he can't get out of it. He's taunting me. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have healing. This is it. This is it. I'm on 40 now. Nope, still got the regen. Get this bread. Bro, be. Oh, he called me a random, bro. This kid's gonna watch my video and he's gonna know that he got clapped. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and always remember, keep on.